I've got something here I want you to check out. I was needing to spool up some reels today, so real quick I put together this reel spooler. It took about 10 minutes. I had all this stuff at home, so it was easy and cheap. I'm gonna be able to carry it with me on my boat. I'll be able to spool on the water, whatever I need to do, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. All this stuff I had lying around, I've got a Plano field box that I keep all my fishing line in. Then I have this U-bolt. It's three inches of threads, five inches overall. Two regular nuts that are three-eighths. I've got a three-eighths lock nut, a three-eighths locking wing nut, and then two washers. And I'll also be using this drill bit right here. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of all the fishing on there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take on the hinge side, I'm gonna use my drill bit to drill a hole right here, and it's gonna go on through. You see you've got these pieces here. My hole will go in, through here, through here, and then stop. this in here as far as I want that to go and I can adjust it and that's the lock nut that I'm putting on the end this is a regular nut and so I'll run this in as far as I want this to go right there so I think I'm gonna back it off a little I kind of want my threads to be centered with the box. Okay, so about right there. Now I'm going to tighten this nut down. And when you get that tightened up, you see I tighten these two together. That'll make it rigid or you can loosen this up just a little and it'll make it where this will move back and forth easy. Easier to store if you leave it where it'll move. Once you got that on it, just take your regular nut, screw it all the way back to here. The reason I'm screwing it all the way back is because I'm using this wide spool. If I was using a thinner spool, I might leave it right around there somewhere, but I'm gonna screw this all the way back. Okay. And now, because it has a small hole here, I won't need my washers, but if I was using a smaller spool, I would go ahead and put my washers here on each side of the spool. But since that has a small hole, I'll go ahead and run it on there. You can see I've got some sticking out there. And then I'll tighten this wing nut down enough that this doesn't turn completely freely has a little friction to it. And then I'll hook it to my reel and start reeling it up. All right, I've got my line tied to my reel. And so the way this is gonna work is you'll set your tension where you want it. And then you'll just your reel. And once you're spooled up, you just take your wing nut off, take your spool off. I'm going to tighten this wing nut back up a little bit. Like I said, it's a locking wing nut, so it should stay there. Put the line back in there. 
go. And this is something that I can take on the boat and do it right there on the boat, no problem. Be really easy. So I think it's gonna come in pretty handy.